Hey guys, welcome back to Tips, Tricks, and Tools, a little video series I'm doing that's more in a short format so you guys can get quick information to help you build your classic cars and tools to make your life easier. Uh, today, we have these awesome diagrams. I got this from Vintage Auto Garage. These have a lot of information in them, and these are an original publication. So this is vintage information for your vintage car. When it comes to getting information on your old car, it really sucks going through the forums. Uh, hopefully this guy's trustworthy. Hopefully that guy's trustworthy. Hopefully any of these people even know what they're talking about. Well, you can get it from the source, from the period of time that your car was actually just a daily driver. So Vintage Garage has brought back the publication of the Automotive Electric Association uh, publications for from everything from, uh, let's see, we have Ford, Chevrolet, Dodge, and Plymouth from 19... 29 to about 1955 just about every single model you can get one of these cards now what i like about this is the laminated i can get oil on it it has all this information on here that i really really need from the source from the period of time that these cars were actually just daily drivers now i don't want to show up uh, a show an up close picture of what's going on here because i don't want to take the thunder from a small business a small business is doing justice to all of us out here working on hot rods and classic cars so i don't want to still or smoke by showing all the information in the video, but a lot of the great stuff that we have in here, uh, well, it's the uh, Automotive Electric Association, so there's gonna be a lot of electric, uh, electric stuff here. So I have a 1953 Ford, or a 1953 Lincoln Capri that I'm working on in here. This has the diagram for that. Now this car has a lot of weird stuff. It's got two heater cores, uh, two blend doors, uh, two valves that lets heat in, lets the hot coolant into these heater cores, Two valves that shuts them off. It's got electric windows. It's got electric seats. It's got um, heated feet area underneath the seat. It's got a lot of weird stuff in it that uh, you really need an electrical diagram to figure out all the unique all the uniqueness going on in this car. I'm going from six volt to twelve volts. Having the entire electrical diagram helps me a lot. Now I like it because it's laminated. So now if I'm just trying to figure out the heater circuit, I can take my dry erase marker and I can mark the wire that I need to be diagnosing, figure it out my issue or figure out how it's routed, get a lot of information on it, wipe it off, use it again later. It's awesome to have this. Some of the other information on here, we have information on uh, ignition timing, uh, our generator regulator, when we got part numbers, we have uh, you know degrees before top dead center, mark on the vibration dampener, uh, we got a bunch of different specifications, starting motor, how it's wired, how the ammeter is wired in. Um, it tells us information about the battery cables, sizes, lengths, spark plug gaps, what ignition coil to use, what carburetor this originally came with. Now on the carburetor, we have a lot of awesome stuff here. We have main jet information, idle tube information, power valve information, secondary jet assembly, and these are all have part numbers on them. So, if I'm working on this carburetor, I can pull up the actual part numbers for this carburetor uh, and order this stuff, guys. So this is like big time stuff. So uh, what else do we have on here? Um, ignition coil information and part numbers. Um, fuel pump information. we got part numbers. Vacuum. How to vacuum test the fuel pump here. Oh, that's awesome. Um, yeah, awesome. How much capacity, what pressure it has, and how it passes or fails the vacuum test. That's great information. Uh, we have obviously then we have timing uh, we have firing order we have how the distributors laid out wow we have rpm and degrees of advance per rpm of the distributor this is some really good information uh, then we have our generator how it's set up with the ammeter how it's set up with the voltage regulator and all the wiring to get that completed so if you guys have a 1928 to 1955 ford chevrolet dodge you really need to pick one of these up for your car now, if you're a shop like me and you're constantly going to a different car, I've made myself a little book here and I've coded them per year. So we start at the beginning and I haven't gotten them all yet, but I definitely plan to at least the early Fords. I'm going to do all the early Fords in this binder from uh, 1939 to about 1955 is what I'm shooting for of information that I want. And I'm going to put me in this nice little book here so I can do the years. I mean, like I said, it's laminated. This is great. Uh, you know, we could beat this up and use this for years and years and years here at the shop. So even if you guys just have one car, I highly recommend getting this. So whenever you're doing your tune-up, 
whenever you're doing your wiring harness in it or you're just trying to maintain it, you need one of these on the shelf. It's pretty affordable, a lot of good information from the source and not from just some random dude on the internet, which we're all trying to fight against nowadays. So, so check them out, Vintage Auto Garage. They're reproducing original content, guys, original information. How can you beat that? Good information right from the source. So uh, that's it for tips, tricks, and tools today. We'll see you guys in the next one.